then let's do some multiplication. Okay, it looks complicated, but we just have to take it one step at a time, and then it's not too bad. Okay, a whole lot of factorizing needs to happen here. Multiplication and division do not require an LCD. Okay, what they require is cross multiplication and cross cancelling. All right. So first things first, it's factorizing. So can you see it's a very different approach that we have to the adding and the subtracting. How am I going to factorize this numerator? Well, that is a trinomial. And as a trinomial factorized, I'm going to have an x and an x. My factors of 6, I'm going to have to say 3y and 2y, and both of them are going to have to be positives. Okay? That is then going to be over the denominator of, I've got uh, this one over here, x squared minus 36, that's a difference of 2 squares minus 6 plus 6. Okay, let's take a quick look at this divide. What do we do when we are dividing fractions? Okay, I'm sure we've heard the, the nickname, we tip and times it, all right? We change the divide to times and we invert the fraction. So therefore this divide is now going to be times and this fraction now gets inverted, which means that the numerator is now going to be factorized as a trinomial which is going to be x and x. Uh, 18, 6 times 3 is 18, where negative 3 plus 3 will give you the, negative 6 plus 3 will give you that negative in the middle there. That's going to be over then the denominator, which is now uh, what was the numerator, and there's a highest common factor of 3 that can come out of that, leaving us with an x plus 3y. And finally, okay, that, last, that third uh, uh, operation is already timed, so that's going to stay as it is. I've got an x plus 6, and I've got an x plus 2y. Okay, so now that we've done all of that, now we look for common brackets, and we look to, to cancel. So, for example, 3x plus y, 3x plus y. As long as you're cancelling a numerator with a denominator, you are safe, okay? x minus 6, x minus 6. I've got an x plus 6 and an x plus 6, an x plus 2y and an x plus 2y. That's leaving me with this bracket up here of x plus 3 and that little term of 3 down there. So our simplified answer is x plus 3 over 3. Okay, so please make sure you factorize everything carefully. That's worth a lot of marks, okay? There's a lot happening over there. So factorize carefully. Make sure if there's a divide that you invert your fraction and you change it to times, and then you can cross-cancel. As I've said before, it doesn't require an LCD because it's not addition and subtraction. All right, so I hope you understand that. As I say, that's worth a lot of marks and a pretty, pretty sure question that will come up in that paper of yours. So please go practice those, okay?